Hey, 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 welcome to another Valley Forged. So today we're talking about the best laser 2023. It's about Christmas. So what should you get? Well, I put a list together of all of my favorites through this year. Now, I've used all of these lasers unless I say otherwise, uh, which there are so many wonderful lasers on the market right now. Things have changed so much this year. And uh, one thing I'm going to start out with, I'm going to say I recommend a 20 watt or above. Reason being, there's just so much more that you can do with a 20 watt or above. And, you know, I could explain this at length. So people might say, hey, you know, engraving, you know, maybe a finer pot, a spot size. I personally haven't noticed that much of a difference. A lot of people defocus their laser to do engraving anyways, but I do recommend Louisiana Hobby Guy, which I'm going to mention here in the video a couple of times. If you're really into engraving and uh, you want to get a 10 watt, uh, that's totally possible. Rolly Lasermatic makes a 10 watt that is all inclusive and has everything that would be nice. You know, <laughs> there is no wrong laser really because it gets you into it, but these are the ones that I think are the best. And the things that I look at, and I think this is even maybe more important so that if you're at home trying to figure out, oh, what laser should I get? Well, what are some of the things that you should be paying attention to? Price, of course. Prices are changing all of the time. It happened to be Cyber Monday today. So you may see some prices that are different than when you look. But in general, prices are trending downwards which is really nice. You're getting a lot more power for a lot less money. And you can now get a 24-watt laser for the same price you were paying for a 10-watt uh, earlier this year. So the second thing you want to look at, of course, is power. Uh, how much power do you need? What do you want to do? Diode lasers generally are not for cutting thick materials. Yes, you see videos. People show you that you can cut half-inch, three-quarter inch, but that is not their actual purpose. They're going to be slow. It's going to take a while. It's not the perfect tool for that sort of job. But if you're cutting eighth inch, quarter inch, absolutely. And a 20 watt cap uh, laser is capable of doing both. Third thing you want to think about is bed size. And that is going to vary greatly with the lasers that I'm going to talk about today. And that is something you need to know, hey, how big a stuff am I going to cut? If you don't know, I would say get the biggest one with the laser you feel very comfortable with. Now, many of these, you can buy a kit, which will make the bed longer. And then you can do some really, really fun things, but they don't all have that possibility. So I'm going to mention that uh, when I get to those. Something else you want to think about is how loud is this? You know, that might actually make a difference in your day-to-day -day life. Most of these lasers, the fan for the laser turns off when it's not in use. That is one of the things that has happened this year is most of the lasers do that. But there are some that don't, you know, like the older P20, or the longer B1, both amazing lasers, but the fans don't turn off when you're not using them. <laughs> and that piece may make a really big difference to you. So, and the air assist, does it come with an air assist? Is it a good air assist? I do recommend that everybody that gets a laser has an air assist. Customer service. Uh, what is their reputation for customer service? Do you feel comfortable that if you had a problem that you could get a hold of these people? Upgradability, like I mentioned before, the uh, extension. Well, what other accessories might you use? Do they have it? And some overall design features. I mean, a lot of these newer ones, the air you can adjust from Lightburn, which is the software I absolutely recommend that you learn and use for your laser. Um, you could turn the air, depending on which layer you're working on, right from the software. All of these cannot do that. Some of these, the Acer P20 Plus, a little bit of older laser, but 
it doesn't do that. So that's something to think about as well. All right, so let's go over. Now, this isn't in any order, but I am going to show you my favorite lasers currently, uh, Acer P20+. Plus. Uh, I have never had one of these. But if you have watched Clack Shack or many of the other channels, you realize this is a workhorse laser. It, <laughs> it, it can do the job. And uh, the price is really good right now at $520. And you get a 20-watt laser with a very large working area, larger than most of the others. And uh, it is, you know, other than I would say customer service, this is just such an amazing deal. The thing is, I'm going to talk about Acer. I'm only going to mention it once. Customer service is a bit on the iffy side as far as what I've seen. Now, I don't know if they're just getting, uh, you know, bot farmed or something, but uh, there are quite a few people complaining about uh, having trouble getting a hold of Acer customer service. So, I have never had a trouble with my Acers, and uh, they're actually my favorite laser, you know, that and longer. Um, but there is that to think about. The next laser I will mention is the Acer L2. Now, I had the 36-watt version of this, and it was fantastic. And uh, it did everything I wanted it to do. It has all of the features it has a pretty decent uh, bed size, not quite as big as the P20, but you can buy the extension for it. And this is kind of a laser that has everything and a really great price for the 24 watt. And once again, uh, the only downside that I can see with this is possibly the customer service. Again, I haven't had any trouble with mine. Every laser on this list will have at least one small negative. What I really like about the Acer is you see the see-through shield here that is easily removable as well. That is something that the IKEA doesn't have. Now, the IKEA is pretty much an identical laser, so you can check out the prices between the two for the, the watts. They're almost identical, but... It, as you can see, it doesn't have that fully see-through cover. There's a couple other differences between the two, but IKEA, you know, as far as reputation goes, it's Atom Stack and has a little better reputation when it comes to customer service. Now, the IKEA can go all the way up to a 48-watt laser, so that may be something you're thinking about. So for all of this, again... Check the prices, the current prices, and go over what I'm talking about uh, and see which one fits best for you. Another laser I absolutely love is Longer Laser. Uh, the 40 watt is just an absolute monster, but they do come... Now, this is upgradable, so you could possibly go and buy 20 watt here and upgrade it to the 40 watt. Now, this has an outstanding 450 by 440 millimeter engraving area. The air assist comes on and off through light burn. It has all of these features. You can remove this cover here. It just has absolutely everything, and it's a super monster machine. I have no trouble. I have never had a single problem with the longer. It just does what it's supposed to do. If you want to do production, you want to start a small business and you want to use a diode laser to get started, this is an absolutely perfect machine for that. It is going to serve you well. Its downside is that the fan doesn't turn off when you're not using it. The other issue uh, initially was that the air hole at the bottom of here for the laser was a little too big. So there are some, uh, you can watch my videos and see how that's easily fixed. Uh, you can go to Ventari. He talks about that as well. Very easy fix, but I think you should be aware of it. Uh, the 40 watt, they have upgraded that and it is much better now. Uh, but a fantastic machine. I really love the longer. I'm going to put links for all of this in the description if you want to check them out. But can't say enough good things about the longer. 
Uh, some other ones that you may take a look at. Rolly Lasermatic. Now, if you've watched uh, Louisiana Hobby Guy, you realize uh, this is a wonderful machine. It is not cheap. Uh, the 20 watt is going to be $1,100, but it comes with everything. I mean, you got the honeycomb bed. It has a camera already in there. You don't have to fuss around with it moving or something like that. You got the rotary, you got the air assist. Uh, customer service is going to be top notch. So if you are interested in an all-in-one solution that is going to be really, really good, uh, something you don't have to worry about, go ahead and go over to Louisiana Hobby Guy and check out his videos on the Rolly Lasermatic. Uh, another one that I would like to mention is the Atomstack A24 Pro. Now, its downside is pretty much you're going to be working with a 12 by 12 working area. So it's going to be smaller than the rest of the lasers on this list. So if a larger bed size and you're doing larger things is what you're looking to do, then this is not the laser for you. Other than that, the thing is it's top of the line. I mean, you could see everything about it. And uh, I just did a video on it. You, you can check that one out. But this has got all the bells and whistles. It is, uh, the fan shuts off. It's got automatic air. You can see all the cable management is absolutely perfect. Uh, it comes pretty much set up. You can, you know, with a few minutes, you're done. But you're going to sacrifice uh, the bed size and upgradability because you cannot make this bed size bigger. But the price is right. The power is right. Everything else is right. So if that makes sense for you, check it out. So those are going to be my picks. Uh, I think this is the best we've got going right now in this time. Now, if there's something I missed here that you're really in love with, let me know. I know the Acemer is a very good laser as well, the P2. Um, they are sending me one right now, and I'll be checking that out. Uh, I can already tell you the one downside to that is going to be this cover here. The, la the cover for the laser does not come off. Now, that is not the hugest deal for some people. It is just something that I really want to be able to see where that laser is hitting at all times from different angles. And as you can see from, the, like, the Acer absolutely has that. And, of course, you could just take the cover off. But through there, I, same color as my glasses, I can literally see where that laser is. I am sure Acemer uh, will fix that eventually, and this is probably going to be uh, one of the competitors coming into 2024. So that's pretty much all I got. There's so much more you know, I could say, but uh, I want to keep the video nice and short, and I think that you should go over all of these, maybe make a spreadsheet yourself, and uh, decide which one makes the most sense for you at the price at that specific time. And I'll probably make another one of these in the spring because things you know, for diode lasers are changing so quickly. And so we're, we're going to need to upgrade all this. Anyways, uh, appreciate you all. Uh, see you in the next one.